Okay, welcome back to the Muses Challenge. I have with me today Bex Finch. Hi, Bex. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> I had a meltdown then because I thought I've just confused your surname with the Finch twins from the gallery, but it is actually <laughs> Bex Finch. So it's, it is actually Bex Finch. It's okay. I've still got three or four <laughs> cells left. Um, <laughs> Bex plays Dominique. <laughs> Uh, is that, uh, can you tell us a little bit about Dominique? You can be spoilery because this is going out after the game. I can be yeah. spoilery. Okay, Dominique is a little bit of a lost soul. She's incredibly haunted, uh, just wants to do the best with her life and has, has had a lot of bad luck, um, but she wants to be a star and that's something I can relate to, but maybe not in the extreme ways that she tries to <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're going to find out a bit more about um, uh, Dominique <laughs> when we go in anyway, because you get to play it, play play her portrait yeah. back. Um, as well, just before we go in, we've been, we talked a little bit before, and you said that you've been doing some work for EA? <laughs> uh, yeah, I've been doing lots of different things um, since we last spoke, but um, my most recent one is um, I did a promo for EA um, FIFA's but birthday um it was a lot of, of silliness um so that's my most recent thing um it's out now and i can talk about it there's no more <laughs> nda holding me to ransom um it's spelled in a weird way isn't it yeah. how do you how do you spell it what, uh, what should people search for um so it's uh the bureau of independent revelry and something i can't remember so b-i-r-g f-u-t um is the secret birthday um of the birthday department of FIFA uh, <laughs> because they have FIFA ultimate <laughs> birthday every going on. So, so it's Ber it's it's Bergfoot. Not Bigfoot. Not Bigfoot. Bigfoot. B I R G. Yeah, Bergfoot. Completely different things. <laughs> uh, I'm not. <laughs> so you've Ber you got Bergfoot and then uh, birthday. No, Ber Berg. Yeah, no, it is, isn't it? And then FIFA. It's yeah, yeah, it's like that. You Google that. <laughs> Was when you when you when you find Bex, you you found the right thing, um, yeah. and just as a curveball for you, I've definitely seen you in another advert. We all have. We were watching TV. <laughs> and was like, wait, wait, we know that person. Do you know which advert I'm talking about? Are you talking about the advert where I'm also wearing this this hoodie? Because oh, it might be the Pringles wearing, advert. It is the Pringles advert. <laughs> and we're wearing the hoodie as well. Ah, oh. yeah. Then, it's an absolute coincidence. So people um, can watch, now my new favourite video. <laughs> people can watch us and go, wait, that's that's the woman from the Pringles advert. Yeah, if, if you suddenly start to get a feeling of wanting to buy some Pringles, um, <laughs> just all the time. <laughs> this is it's not a yeah, it's not a mysterious murderous muses magic power. I'm, <laughs> I I have done and a Pringles advert. <laughs> yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah, we love it when we see um see, see people in the in these things between between shows and stuff. Excellent. <laughs> Okay, well, we're going to have a go at the Muses Challenge today. I have uh, prepared a seed for you. Um, are you ready to go in? As ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> okay, I'm going to shrink us down. Like I said, low bar. Low bar. <laughs> well, I mean, it's fairly low, yeah. Even even though I think you're the ninth <laughs> in, so yeah, it's going to, it's still, uh, there's a vast spectrum of scores, shall we say, and speeds. <laughs> okay, I've shrunk us down. This is the seed that we're going to use today. Uh, you can put that into your game if you get it, and you'll be able to play pretty much the same gallery. It's been a bit changed. It's the dev version, so we're missing some videos and stuff, but let's go have a look, shall we? Yeah, let's do it. Quite excited. Okay. Here we are. Day one, the, the the day part of the gallery, it is absolutely brassic in here. I didn't check to see if there's any paintings first, obviously, but there's <laughs> there's not even one. You're not even getting a free painting on the wall here. So <laughs> we're in reception. Sweet. Sorry, go. Nice. I get the solid desk. A solid desk. Um, there will be there's some paintings up there, and we're going to put some out. But first, because you're one of the muses, I want you to go and have a look and check out your 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 painting on the wall here. Yay. And get the day gallery narrator's story, or you know, little bio, really, for <laughs> Dominique. That's me. <laughs> what I like about these pictures is that they're not pictures, are they? That you've everybody, uh, you, uh, I believe you bought your own bower, did you? Yes. Uh, that's not me with pipe cleaner arms. Um, that is <laughs> that is a fluffy bow. 
<laughs> Live action picture edited in Paris. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Paris is good. Okay, let's have a listen about Dominique. Better known as her alter ego, Miss Moonstruck, talented dancer Dominique Serrant regularly performs her bewitching blend of ballet and burlesque at the Moonstruck Lounge. At one time set for stardom on the West End stage, Dominique's path took an unexpected turn due to a tragic death in the family, but London's loss soon became Merle Haven's game. Wow. Well. <laughs> Dominique. Oh. Ballet. Heartbreaking. Ballet and burlesque. I mean, Ballet, yeah. I want to see it. We didn't record any. They often come inside. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> okay. Um, so the, uh, I've got a, I've got a note for you as well. Let me go and get the note first. This one's for you to read out if you can, if you can see it. Yeah, I can read. Um, hi, Bex. Welcome to the Muses Challenge. You have two time tasks to complete. The first task, you'll need to choose a crate, examine the painting inside it, then hang that painting over its matching title plaque in the gallery. The time starts when the crate is opened and finishes once the gallery button is pressed next to the correct plaque. Have a look around. Uh, oh, have a look around first <laughs> to get your bearings. Thank you. Gotcha. Brilliant. I can read. You can read. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so, so sometimes people get like seeing this in a little tiny, tiny screen on their uh, on their <laughs> device. So yeah, it's uh, it's good that you can see that. Right. So yeah. So you, this is your one of your challenges here is to hang a painting. Oh, it's gonna. Yeah. There we go. I've been told. Okay. It's happening. <laughs> so. There's several spaces in the gallery which don't have a painting yet, and we we've got to unpack Mordecai's paintings into the gallery. But for this challenge, we're just going to unpack one painting. When you see a painting, though, it doesn't tell you what it is called. It's just a description, and you see it. Ah, you mean it's not that easy? It's not that easy, no. <laughs> if I do a runner, I'm going to do a runner here, and I'm just going to um, take this one off the uh, wall so you can see. So this painting, oh, I mean, okay, look, in this instance, <laughs> after I've said that, the description is a doorway within a doorway within a doorway, <laughs> and it's hung above. Ah, I wonder, I wonder where that one could go. <laughs> where could it go? Yeah, spot on, doorway, okay. Um, okay, this one's, this one's better, the Baconian, okay. Ooh. So you ah, the Baconian. Oh, yeah, yeah, you potentially wouldn't really have got that from a theatre stage with ominous no. lighting. Yeah, it's the Baconian. So, but I vaguely, I vaguely remember that from a from a from a, a, a response. Oh. Yes, yes, <laughs> the Baconian, uh, named after Francis Bacon. So, what I mean, some people have written them down. It it doesn't make a massive amount of difference <laughs> from, from the times <laughs> we have seen. Still chaos. I can still, okay. I can open up a crate and then amble around anyway, um, but. I'll, I'll oh. take you around and have a look first, right? So we've got Melhaven Mines. Right. Nice, beautiful. Yep. And then... Yeah, read that out if you can see it. The loop. Thank you. Okay, uh, this one? Revenge. Oh, what could that be? An empty box of Pringles and a shopping receipt? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh, yeah. I can't yeah. believe you stole my... Yeah. Um, huh? Oh. Uh, oh. We're, we're oh. hoping the paintings look like the, the thing. Well, Haven Island, yeah, lovely. Big space for them. Walk Fair, nice. Walk Fair, that's good. Yeah. Abernathy's Bluff, oh, yeah. Nice. Henge. Henge. Undulating hills, of course. It could, it could, yeah, it's 24, so let's hope your memory <laughs> palace is doing good. Yep, so well. Uh, yeah, I remember things. Uh, Saviour's Bell. Saviour's Bell, yeah. Marie's Farm, nice. I like that some of these things I haven't even heard of yet. You haven't heard this of them. It's quite yeah. nice. Like, yeah, Aurora Woods. It's even, I like that it's a mystery to me as well. What have we got here? The Hearstman? Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't know. I don't think he had any Hearstman dialogue, but Lilith, as the Undertaker, did. Chalk Cellars. Okay, that's 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 most of them. Nice. Do you remember any of those? Not really. We've... Sure. <laughs> we have been learning. I think that's 
what's nice about being being part of a video game then because like sometimes doing like other projects i've known what the end is going to be and all the secrets but with doing a game it's kind of like i've only done a bit of it and that's what's quite fun i'm looking forward to playing it and finding out more secrets you don't get the whole script do you, you just get your character script no. so you only know about your particular character yeah hmm. Melhaven Chapel, no. Melhaven Chapel. Is that scry 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 it is scrying, scrying. yeah. <laughs> like crying, but scrying. Crying. <laughs> Super crying, <laughs> scrying. Spirit. Spirits. Ducks, ooh. Yeah, scrying's like an old fashioned term for finding something by divination. So. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, that might help you if we draw that. We have drawn that painting once. Uh, in fact, we drew it last, last time we did this. Um, so, have you got a clue where they are? Not really. <laughs> Not really, but hey, it's, it's all right. We can do a nice, ample wonder uh, around the gallery. We do have a crate sat right here, so that's good. Oh, great. I'm not sure. Yeah. I don't think there's a closer one, is there? Yeah, no, we'll, we'll go for that one. I'll just sure. try not make you sick as I'm running around the gallery. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we go for this one. We we'll go for that. What is that next to Is it a fish? Is it next it to a is. fish? It is. Majesty. Oh, hello. That's, a, that's got a proper story. Majesty has oh. a proper story. Uh, and it's a good one. It's a feel-good story. It's a, tra a good oh. trance over, over evil story. Yeah. So, yeah, that's good. I like it feel Right. Um, what I'll do then is I'll open the crate and then I'll start walking around the room and and basically looking okay. at all of these. Unless you tell me to like, no, oh, head out to the reception or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> you probably won't. Cool. But yeah. yeah, let's just. I probably won't. Let's let's do that. <laughs> There's something called we've been doing psychology Jesus Lee here. Uh, Rachel has anyway. Did you do psychology? Okay. No. no, definitely one of us in psychology, but there's something called the um, the serial position curve, which is basically mm. to do with how you remember stuff. And the idea is mm. if you've got a list of things, you remember the stuff at the top and the bottom more than you do in the middle. Yeah. So uh, his little... <laughs> it's, it's similar for, uh, for for drama games that we do. They always used to terrify me, like warm-up icebreaker games where you'd have to go around and say people's names and they said a thing and you'd have to try and memorise all of them. Yeah, yeah. Also in auditions, you usually want to be the first person or the last person, not really the one in the middle. You don't forget those lines in the middle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, but you're right, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, more of an impression in front of that. <laughs> so uh, the pr the primacy effect, oh my God, help me. I've done. The, I've actually been homeschooling <laughs> psychology. So I just, yeah. I, I, you're the expert I'm as well not, now. <laughs> I, I just, yeah. But you, you have to kind of, you have to be in the same place as the person you're, t you know, mm -hmm. you need to be able to um, Google this stuff. So that you can at least uh, give answers to anything that comes up, isn't there? Yeah. So, which uh, I'm going to just show you these again, so we know whether to run straight to reception. So, we've got Melhaven Mines and the Mine. loop. loop. Right. Mines loop revenge, and that's it. That's in that little corridor. Just in case it comes up, Ooh, I actually right. don't know. Okay. Who knows? Here we go. Through the uh, magic of post production, we'll be putting in a small timer. Um, but for now, Linda's just going to hit, hit her phone button in a kind of haphazard way and we'll give Great. you like an estimate to the nearest hour how long it took. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Yeah. I can also see the Hurstman and Oral Woods, but now I've given you five words and that'll be it for you. You've forgotten reception, right? I have. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready to this go? Fine. Are you ready to go? Yeah, let's do this. Uh, Open the crate. Okay. Oh. Oh. It's a bell. A, a grave law, a large bell. Okay. Oh, sorry, um, sorry. <laughs> I was going to read it for you. Uh, a large bell painted against purple sunset and shimmering waters. Um, I've seen this before. It's not. Um, I don't think it's the Hurstman. I can't remember where it goes, though. No. Uh, oh. No, I don't think that would be there. Um, it's about there. Oh, haha. -ha. <laughs> yes. Brilliant. <laughs> Great. Oh. Just, just like that. <laughs> I didn't help. I didn't help. You didn't help. No, yeah. you, you didn't help. It's, it's um, 28 to 29 seconds. 
give or take an hour, according to Linda's uh, timer, which is pretty good. I'd say that was just kind of top mid table. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> what you... Better than I thought. <laughs> It was in the room we opened it, to be fair. It's a good thing you turned around that way. I know. Um, <laughs> the other way. Honestly, I don't remember anything nowadays from a few minutes ago. So that was that wasn't planned. I didn't I didn't know. Just, <laughs> and everyone's had that random factor, yeah. <laughs> the unreliable pilot. So I'll just play uh, let's play Savers Bell then. I think we have had this one before, but um for anyone who's just jumped straight in at Bex, uh let's have a listen. Saviour's bell was originally sounded to warn islanders of trouble at sea, but its ringing soon became synonymous with drownings instead. Gray's painting depicts Saviour's bell in action at Merlehaven docks, but it was dismantled in 1975 when it was acquired by Gallery Argenta. Despite its removal, some say they can still hear its doleful chimes on stormy nights. Wow. Ooh. Well, save people. Well, well, well. Save people from uh, crashing into the rocks and stuff. Ish. 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 Now it's removed. <clears throat> that's... Do they still crash into the rocks? I don't know. I know. Well, that's our <laughs> that's our day gallery version of it. Now we're going to head into the night, and I'm going to going to give you a slightly different take on that. Well, I won't, but Higgins will. Okay. So. Thank you, Higgins. Here we go. It's time to sleep. Day, the night the night shift started let's have a nap yeah <laughs> here we are uh things have changed a bit i mean mainly the lighting oh, yeah. oh hello look at all these little paintings also there's quite a lot of paintings aren't there yeah, i'm gonna go and grab i'm gonna grab those in a minute let's first go through the um you see them too don't you corridor i, I do here with, <laughs> with higgins now Higgins is going to give us his take on Saviour's Bell. Saviour's Bell still gets rung by the unhappy spirits of Merlehaven, mostly witches who were drowned by the Triumvirate in the Aurora Trials. Mayor Spens ordered the bell to be destroyed, and the Triumvirate passed a law banning the paraphernalia of divination. They'd hoped to cover up their sins by severing all ties with the spirit world it didn't work did it oh no it did not no so uh something spooky attached to the bell there mm. uh, all of these things have different nighttime narration so you get the day and the night version of those sights and sounds of melhaven shall we say um what uh, um, we've been letting everyone do is ask a question for any any suspect. So, Ooh. one question, one suspect. You can pick yourself, or you can pick one of the other muses. I'll just grab them all now, including you. Including, including you. So you have um, Catherine, the uh, vice justice, Xavier, the clockmaker. Lilith, the Undertaker, the uh, infamous duo, Otto and Pip, Ventriloquist. Uh, I don't know who this person is. No, who could she be? <laughs> that's, that's you, that's Dominique, and uh, the twins. So, like I said, you can ask anyone, you can ask yourself, it's entirely up to you. Ooh, I think, I think I want to ask Xavier a question. Xavier, okay, cool. Yeah. And we will line him up. Now the gallery's changed. You may have noticed. I have. Yeah, you know, it's it's it used to be a, like a big area there, but now it's just a small one. Um, every night you get one of these TVs, and that gives mm. you a bit about the murder mystery. It tells you one of the things that the murderer will have needed to be the murderer. And with this information, like, for instance, it might say that they needed to be in the phone box in the theatre district. With that information, you would then uh, go and question them all and try and work out who was and who wasn't, and then by deduction, solve a mystery. I'm not going to play that video. But it opens the doorway here. And then we can go through that. Gosh, this place must be hideous to clean. <laughs> As a cleaner, you... <laughs> 
constantly losing rooms and like... <laughs> Do you know what? There's not many ornaments, so... <laughs> It's, other than that, yeah, yeah, it's a few carpets and beds, um, but yeah, yeah, it's not, it's it's not too cool. Battery, isn't it's it? a little ball here as well. I'm just going to grab that one here. Ooh. Uh, oh, I said there weren't many ornaments, there's just there's a few there. Um, they appear and disappear, I guess that would also make a difference. Yeah. Me, so. <laughs> yes, you want to be on the day when nothing's in the gallery. Uh, so these are the questions you can ask, Davia. Any of those about All Hallows' Eve, criminal murder, family, fans, job. You're remembering your responses to those now, probably. Um, yes. And then we've got Spirits, Ambition, Disagreement, Malhaven, well, Negligent, Mordecai. Ooh. Ooh. Wait. Ooh. Oh, fans. Okay. I think that's... That isn't you, is it? It's all right. I know that Mordecai is a special... A special one for... Is it Mordecai? Yeah, it's a special one for Xavier. But... Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Well, it's making me want to choose that one now. Does it? Like, if, <laughs> if you choose Mordecai, you get you get an extra choice. Should we choose Mordecai? Shit. <gasps> yeah. 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 Okay. I just think it's going to find her now. Du -du -du. <laughs> du -du. Yep. Just talk amongst yourselves. Uh, it could be anywhere. Uh, negligent. Oh my! Like, it's good exercise. <laughs> yeah. It's always the last one. Wow. <laughs> okay, so let's see what happens when we uh, talk to Zave about Mordecai. Am I talking to you through Mordecai's memories? Or am I just a figment of your imagination? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that's a weird direct camera piece there, right? Let's just have a look at that again. Ooh, it's breaking that am I talking wall. to you through Mordecai's memories? Or am I just a figment of your imagination? Ha. Huh. Do you know... Such a mystery. I'm just going to, um... What is... Don't, don't, don't look at the back... Don't look behind the screen! Don't look back... No, 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 you can't. It's fine. Pay no attention yeah, to the man yeah. behind the curtain. Yes, I'm just uh, putting subtitles <laughs> into people here. Oh, no, I've missed those. So, am um, I talking okay. to you okay. through Mordecai's right. memory? Three of those now. Or am I just a figment of your imagination? So he's kind of asked us a question, right? Ooh, and yeah. look at these plaques. They're all this kind of uh, marble colour, yeah? Mm. However... <gasps> oh. Oh. Memories. There's a Ooh. new plaque has, has, has turned up. Um, so cool. So uh, <laughs> I, I'm desperately looking for... <laughs> Oh, an imagination! Oh, found you. Oh, <laughs> I just, Ooh. I just thought the whole game was broken again as usual. <laughs> so, we have found a branching keyword from uh, on Mordecai there. So, I can't. I've already forgotten the question. Here we go. Am oh. I talking to you through Mordecai's memories, or am I just a figment of your imagination? Okay, so do we think that he's talking to us through Mordecai's memories, or he's just a figment of our imagination? What do we fancy? Ah, oh, that's fun. Um, depends how far you want to walk. I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> I don't. I need the exercise. Sadly, it's just in virtual, virtual reality. Yeah. So. Um. Oh, I. Uh, I'm going to go with memories. Memories. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. Do you know what would help? If I'd brought the painting with us. Oh, my knees. Oh, my feet are killing oh, me. I'm so sorry. Double, I should have reminded you. Okay, I got that. Oh. At least you get your steps in today. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it can stop reminding me. Okay, here we go. Memories. Let's have a listen. Mordecai already knows who killed him. So if these are his memories, then he's just playing with you. Is it nice having someone manipulate you? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, Xavier. <laughs> wow, well done. Well done, that's never happened before. There you go, nine goes, and we've unlocked a, a double there. Well done. That's fun. Okay, I'm gonna run back now. <sighs> Getting those steps, I might say. <laughs> and then we have one more note for you to have a look at, please. Ooh. Left and right for me. 
Hi, Bex. Welcome to the Night Gallery. For your final task, you'll need to solve the coin flip puzzle in the gallery that has spawned next door. Be sure to devise some good system with Tim to identify each coin. Your time starts when you click the button under the puzzle coins and stops once you've solved the puzzle. Take it. Brilliant. Uh, yes, a strategy, but that's my forte. <laughs> I, I can do that. Strategist. <laughs> It's just, it's just I know which coins to to, to, to move for you, really. <laughs> <laughs> it get, I'm okay with left and right. I can do row and uh, number as well. Here it is. Here's our coin. Oh, gosh. So, um, yeah. What's, go what's going to happen is that when we click this button, some of the coins are going to move around and turn to a gold colour. And then it will stay for kind of three or four seconds if you try and memorise the pattern. And then, Great. yeah, and then it spins around again. You have to flip over the coins that you think match the pattern, and then we submit our answer by clicking the button again. And if we're right, we get a yay. If we're wrong, we get a boo. Well, I don't know, actually. We get a, oh no, or whatever Higgins does. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but we, we keep going until we've got one. But the timer starts uh, when we click the button here, and it ends when we finally get the right answer. So. I can show you one as well, if you want to see what speed it goes at or anything. Yeah. If you want to see one, yeah? <laughs> I need that. <laughs> okay. This is what it's going to look like. That's a super hard one. That's a super hard Great. to remember. That's gone. Okay. No, so, I can do no, that. No, no, that's gone. Look, this was just okay, a test to go. You're okay. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> that's just a tester. Um, we're going to fail that one. Oh, no. Oh, there you go. Oh no. Higgins is disappointed there. So we're gonna have Sorry, Higgins. <laughs> so we're gonna try and get one with less than twenty-five coins flipping over. And when when we do it, have you got a, a system for telling me which coin to pick? As in top left or like row one, column uh, uh, coin three or Yeah, I can do that. You that row yeah. yeah. Uh, if yeah. Yeah. Go on, go on, give me a go. Go on. Um, you, you, okay, I can do a top left. I can do that. If they're at, like, top, I'll, I'll give you a number, what row it is. So, okay. It, row one, row two, row three, Love row it. four, row five. Brilliant. We'll go, we'll go up top. Yeah. Coins one to five, row one, two, three, four. Love it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm good with that. I'm ready. Okay. okay. I, I'm, I am also ready. You ready? <laughs> good, good. And, uh, Linda, you ready? Cool. We're ready to get a fake time as well. Um, fake time? Uh, yeah, around to the nearest oh, wow. hour, the usual one. Okay. <laughs> and go. Oh, that's okay, not too bad. Yeah, sure. Not too bad, is it? That's not too bad. Yeah. Okay. Um, right. Row one. Yep. Coin five. Yep. Uh, row two, coin three. Yeah. Row three, coin one. Yeah. Row three, coin two. Row four, coin two. And same row, coin three, coin four, coin five. All of those? I think. Ready to go? I think that's it. I'm going to give it a go. Yes. Wow. <laughs> well done. I actually didn't think that was it. I did better than I expected. I thought there were more coins. That's really good. <laughs> That's really good. I, was, I didn't. I didn't think that Yay. was it. So yeah, you got your puzzle room key. Well done. That was a good time. What we got? Oh, forty-four point one three seconds. And my certainly won't, isn't what it will say in post, but it's close. <laughs> That's good. That was a good time. Wait. So what's the overall time? One minute fifteen. Ooh, that's pretty good, eh? I don't know if that's, that's the winning time. That is pretty good. It's better than I thought that I w I thought we'd be here for the full hour. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, no, you're good. <laughs> you've unlocked your... I didn't have breakfast this morning, so, you know, my brain. <laughs> well, you you know, you've gone into fight or flight mode, so, yeah. Yeah, I think that the anxiety fuels <laughs> my brain when I don't have food. It's just pure anxiety. That... <laughs> yeah, that's what it's meant for. To make you perform at your best, at your peak. So that was a good choice. <laughs> Actually, if only it was like that all the time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can't just not eat permanently, then you won't perform at your peak anymore. That's a very bad uh. idea. Uh, <laughs> you've opened this um, uh, 
treasure room where you actually get you probably didn't notice before but when you play one of these uh, paintings and ask a question you lose one of these eyes of Mordecai yeah. and once they've all disappeared uh, you that's it you have to go to the next night to get more back so here in the treasure room you get to ask these for free so any of these don't cost um, eyes of Mordecai anymore you also get uh, you also get a behind the scenes phone call or a oh, weird right. phone call from Sasha that is a, that is a giant phone that's uh yeah that's <laughs> an, I think that's the uh, iPhone 15 sneak peek nice no. <laughs> Yeah, I thought they were getting bigger. Um... <laughs> getting bigger. Yeah, that's... Uh... Yes, very Mona Lisa. Wow, that told us nothing. Okay. <laughs> and we get a free vase, which... Uh, that, oh, that's for you, that's up, pretty. That's for you, upstairs. That's... Oh, that's something for the cleaner to... <laughs> Clean around. I love that. We try, try to leave it as uh, clear as possible, but yeah, no, yeah. can't always. <laughs> Excellent. Well, that is basically it. We've got one more thing. We just got, we we get to say goodbye in the day now. Yeah. Ah. Check in. So we say goodbye to the night gallery. Oh, hi. Bye, night gallery. <laughs> and then yeah, uh, we had we've got ah. one final note. Yeah. Ah. Dear Bex, this is the end of your journey. When you're ready to leave, sound the bell and everything will disappear. Ooh. Era. Including us? No? Uh, including us? Yeah, we will. <laughs> what if I don't want to disappear? <laughs> it's, it's, it only happens in, 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 in the post-production, so <laughs> you'll still be here. <laughs> oh, good. But... <laughs> hold on to oh, okay. Yeah, hold cool. on to something. <laughs> but everyone else, yeah, will be out of here. Ah, oh, it, it's come full circle. It's, it's the bell from my painting. It is, that. yeah. You picked well. Oh. Yeah. I have, yeah good, I have a good arc. That was a nice arc for me. It was a good... For, for Beck Finch. It was a good, it was a good <laughs> job, yeah. I'm just going to um, throw us up on the screen so that we can say our goodbyes. Um, thank you for joining us today, Bex. <laughs> that was really cool. Um, it's great to have a, another muse in the muses challenge in the name. And um, thank you for having me. You've done. It's been nice to explore the gallery. People can see you in a lot of things, and perhaps uh, many more things as well. I know that you, you like said you're on NDA to do stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, no, well, we're really glad to have you in there. It's uh, not this, but well, I mean, you know, it's been good having you here. <laughs> but it's also brilliant that having you on the muses. I think um, this year, you know, this year or so, this two years. Uh, period this game we're releasing has um it's it's got some great acting in it again some absolutely fantastic mm -hmm. acting and some really great kind of portrayals of the of the characters so um i know that it's you know it happens like that for you doesn't it you, you obviously you've had the lines you spent a lot of time um learning them but the actual day you get a day mm -hmm. so it, mm -hmm. it's quite it's short for you to kind of pack all that in and then we spend a few years with it make it worse than what you did and then we finally ship it for people to play <laughs> would you oh. would you do it again yes um it was it's my first fmv um game um and it's been so much fun bringing dominique to life um and it was lovely meeting you and uh, well, all of you in the whole clan um and yeah like it yeah you you you've, you've Showed me the FMV world, and I'm very much enjoying it. Um, it takes me back to doing the choose your own adventure games um, when I used to do those kids. So. Excellent. <laughs> I would love to do it again. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Brilliant. Okay, well, um, we just uh, we'll um, say goodbye to everyone. Thanks for joining us um, for this potentially the last of our, our, our muses challenge. I don't know why I'm still allowed to do it. You can blame Linda. <laughs> I, I should probably not. Uh, it's definitely our, <laughs> this is definitely be our last one. Um, I think uh, Beck's done really well. She might be pretty hard to score her. So um, enjoy the game. Be um, uh, have fun with it, and um, be um, let's uh, be nice to all our, our actors and people who've been in the game as well. Everyone's worked. Not me. I'm just the dev. One of the devs. But everyone else <laughs> worked terribly hard. And uh, yeah, everyone's yeah. been great. It's been so much fun seeing everyone's characters as well like everyone else's because i've spoken about them dominique spoke about some of them and just actually seeing them is just wonderful so yeah i'm super excited to solve some mysteries <laughs> yeah well we'll be getting you that early key soon don't tell anyone else and uh <laughs> let's uh, shrink ourselves down and head out of here shall we 
Yeah. When we hit, when we hit the bell, we disappear. Three, <laughs> two, ah. one. <laughs>